Nick and in this video we'll be talking about yeast infections that seem to happen after sex. Well, as research indicates, plain old sexual intercourse or even anal sex does not seem to increase your odds of getting a yeast infection. So no, there is not much chance that a yeast infection occurs because you had sexual intercourse or anal sex. However, Certain sex acts, like a woman receiving oral sex or masturbating with saliva, does seem to increase your risk of contracting a yeast infection. So let's take a look at some of the academic studies that were done on this topic. A 1996 study published in Epidemiology found that sexual intercourse did not raise a woman's risk for developing a vaginal yeast infection. However, women with candida also seem to receive a lot more oral sex. So the study did find that when a woman gets oral sex, she does become more predisposed to a candida problem. Another study, a 2003 paper published in the Journal of Women's Health, found that regular sexual intercourse and anal sex did not increase a woman's risk for developing a yeast infection. The study also examined certain body sites on the male partners of these women and found that the ones who did have some candida on these sites, this did not increase the risk of their female sexual partner to develop a yeast infection. So no, the study found that asymptomatic males who don't have an outward yeast infection do not raise the risk of their female partners coming down with a vaginal candida problem, even though they may have some candida on various places of their body. The study did find that when a woman receives oral sex, her chances of getting a yeast infection do go up. And also when a woman masturbates with saliva or her male sex partner masturbates with saliva, this also raises the risk of the woman developing a vaginal candida problem. So what about contraceptive devices? Could a yeast infection possibly be linked to using some kind of contraceptive? Generally, the consensus is no. Contraceptives do not induce yeast infections. However, some research and many professionals do consider high-level estrogen birth control pills to be one predisposing factor to a yeast infection. However, this may not be the case with a more low-dose estrogen birth control pill. A 2013 study published in the Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology examined the relationship between contraceptive use and yeast infections. The study included 495 different women. Among the various types of contraceptives looked at by the study, a few included birth control pills, condoms, and intrauterine contraceptive devices. The study ultimately found that no contraceptive device it analyzed increased the risk of a woman developing a yeast infection. So in conclusion, sexual activity that is not involving saliva on the genitals does not increase your risk of developing a yeast infection and neither do most contraceptives. One common problem among women self-diagnosing is the fact that a yeast infection has many similarities to other sexually transmitted diseases and certain bacterial vaginal infections. So if you find yourself coming down with itching and burning after sexual intercourse and you're considering the possibility that it is a yeast infection, uh, that may not be the case. Even medical professionals who do not have access to laboratory findings at the moment find it quite difficult to accurately diagnose a yeast infection from among the other different things that can cause a woman to have vaginitis. So again, you may unfortunately have a sexually transmitted disease and not a yeast infection at all. 
However, if you're pretty certain it's a yeast infection and you seem to get it after sex, one thing you can do is wash out the semen from your vagina with some apple cider vinegar. Semen has a relatively high pH and candida love a more alkaline environment. A healthy vagina will have a lower pH around 4 or 4.5. So when that semen enters the vagina, it can significantly alkalinize the vaginal area, making it more conducive for candida. So long story short, you may want to try to wash the semen out with an acidic vinegar and perhaps that might help stop the yeast infections from happening after sex. Well, for more information on this topic, you can check out the article on Candida Hub. The link is, of course, below in the description. And while you're there, you can also find out about an all-natural 12-hour solution for yeast infections that people from all over the world have tried and used successfully. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, you may want to check it out. Okay, hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you get better very soon. See ya.